Hello and welcome to the Inspiring Income Facebook page and the Inspiring Income YouTube channel. I'm Amanda Fowler and it's Tuesday at two o'clock, so it's time for Craft and Chat. Thank you so much for joining me if you're joining me live or even on the replay. Um, do leave some comments and uh, I'll answer them. And if you've got any questions or queries or you've got some suggestions, about future craft and chats do you let me know um if you've never watched this before 20 minutes ish of chatting and then i'm going to be doing some crafting so let's do the kind of housekeeping <laughs> right now can you see me and hear me clearly is the technology working <laughs> can you put a comment in or can you just type me a comment that would be a really good I am noticing I've got nothing on my walls behind me. Um, we've just finished a new catalog, a catalog. We've got a new catalog and I've taken down all my old samples. <laughs> so, yeah, it's looking a bit bare. So I'll get that fixed for next week. Um Good afternoon, Margaret. She's saying hello to everybody. And Stella is too. Uh, Texas is here. Hooray. How are we? You, she can hear me fine. That's really good. Right, I've got to sort out my tea bag. <laughs> I ran upstairs a minute ago and uh, had to, to sort out my cup of tea. So. I'll just do that whilst everyone is, is arriving. Bear with me a second. Donna is here from Australia. Donna sent us some pictures <laughs> that she said I can share with you. So I'm going to be sharing those in a minute. Thank you, Donna. Good afternoon, Laura. And Val. Sight and sound good this morning in YouTube in Florida. Good afternoon, Mum. Hello, Janet. How are the nails, says Janet. Look. Look, they're still surviving. Look. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm all out of focus again. Um, so, the nails. This is a topic of great debate over the past few weeks. Um, I had my nails done professionally, <laughs> as opposed to me doing them. Um, and that was, it was a week ago on Thursday. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What are we now? So, yeah, 12 days in. There is a bit of, of growth. Clearly, my nails are liking this because they're growing. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. So we'll see. We'll see. I have to see what they look like when they're on screen in a little while. Um, let's have a look. Awesome. I've said hello to everybody who's here. Fabulous. Okay. So great excitement here in the UK. You may or may not have noticed that uh, we had a coronation going on. Um, I, I think it hit pretty much every news stand in the world. Um, I watched it on the telly, um, as did many, many people, although there were a lot of people in London. Um, and then there was a, a concert last night which the headline act was Take That. And many of you will know, I've been to see Take That several times in concert. So there was quite a lot of singing and dancing going on in my front room last night. <laughs> which, you know, is a bit silly, really. But it was, it was a lot of fun. So that is good. Good afternoon, Sue. Are you, are you, are you back in our time zone now? Because last week, you just got off a plane, I think. Um, good afternoon, Ali. Good afternoon, Janet. Two Janets today. Hello, hello. 
Awesome. So have you, so it's been a bank holiday again this weekend or last weekend um, for the coronation. So anybody have any street parties or coronation parties or outings or anything? Donna watched it on the telly too. Sue's doing okay. Uh, Sue, I'm going to send you an email later about cards. Look. Hello, Shirley, Ontario, Canada. We are truly global again today. It's amazing. Thank you for, for hanging out with us. It must be early in the morning, Shirley, where you are. Early. Thank you for getting up and listening to us or chatting with us. Um, so yeah, so we we didn't, yeah, we didn't we didn't actually do any celebrating apart from watching the telly. Um, we just did lots and lots of gardening, and I did lots and lots of stamping all weekend. Um, we've got the stamping up incentive trip coming up in a few weeks, and we make things called swaps, which are basically multiples of the same card. So I actually made 50 of the same card, and you will get to see it, just, just not yet. Um, using two new stamp sets, but in true Amanda fashion, it wasn't a simple card. So there was stamping, obviously. There was colouring in of all the different elements that used about nine or ten different blends colours. Then there was uh, masking and then splatting and then Wink of Stella and then more stamping and punching out of five elements to go on the card. And then we had to put dimensionals on each of those five elements to put on the card. <laughs> I I don't know why I do it to myself, but I just wanted something cute and fun. And and so, yeah, so I spent most of the weekend making cards, which, you know, is not a bad thing. Ah, it's not too early for Shirley. It's nine o'clock. That's not too bad. Maria, Maria. Maria, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I read, I don't know what I read, but Maria is here from Australia um, and Sue's watching it on telly. Dino's here as well and lots of gardening going on for Janet. So yeah, we did, we did more gardening. Um, I have on Instagram and Facebook, I've actually, I took some pictures of the garden because it's looking really lovely. I love this time of year because things are just beginning to come out um, into flower. But I have been talking to you about the trauma that is my tomato plants that just haven't grown. Well, we bit the bullet at the weekend and actually bought some new tomato plants. And we're still trying to figure out what went wrong. So, um, obviously, for those gardeners amongst you, most compost now is peat-free compost, obviously because of environmental issues. Um, but it does tend to mean that most compost doesn't have any kind of substance to it. So we tend to mix it with other things. So this time we mixed it with composted bark and it looked fine, but we're not sure whether it was that that caused the issue with the tomatoes. So we bought, we bought six tomato plants and three of one type, three of another. And we planted them into different types of compost. So we've got pure compost, compost and soil from our garden, and compost and composted bark. So I'm going to keep like a little diary. And in a, in a few weeks, <laughs> when they've grown a bit, we can do a bit of a comparison <laughs> to try and figure out what was going wrong with my tomato plants. But we've what else have we planted? Beans and courgettes and nasturtiums and more beetroot because there's no world where there isn't enough beetroot. 
um, beetroot hummus. For those of you that like a kind of plate of nibbly things for lunch, I love hummus, um, but beetroot hummus is amazing. It's also bright pink, <laughs> which for a for food is kind of a bit weird, but it is very delicious. Hi, Shaz and hi, Lorraine. Margaret, Margaret's just come back from two weeks in the Lake District. How was the weather, Margaret? Because it can be rainy in the Lake District, but did you have good weather? Yeah, Janet's saying peat-free compost is, is iffy. Um, adding coir, which retains moisture. Yeah, so that's why we were using the composted bark to kind of give it a bit more substance. Um, we haven't had any success with coir in compost either. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we've lost our green fingers for vegetables. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Um, I have quite a few things to show you today. Um, I do have some happy news, though. Here in Europe, we are pretty much caught up with shipping. Yay! For those of you in the rest of the world, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> they're not quite caught up yet. Um, but uh, North America definitely isn't caught up yet, although they're getting there. Actually, I think Australia and New Zealand are almost caught up and we are as well. So um, I would say in the next couple of days, we'll be we'll be back on track. So, yeah, so that's really good. Um, so that's so that's the first thing. Um, obviously. This catalogue is the one that is live now. Um, I did get a message the other day with somebody trying to order something from the previous catalogue, um, which is sad <laughs> because we can't get the stuff anymore. Um, so only ordering from this catalogue now. Um, I've been getting a few questions about Christmas. <laughs> I love it. It makes me so happy that people are asking me questions about Christmas in May. Honestly, I can't tell you how happy it makes me. Um, so the Stamping Up Christmas catalogue, it's officially the autumn winter catalogue or the September to December catalogue, is coming out in September. There are a few Christmas stamp sets in the annual catalogue and we will have an online release next month or the month after. Not sure, um, but soonish. So there might be some Christmas stuff there. So if you're thinking about Christmas, there is some stuff to, to get stuck into already. Um, but the full on Christmas catalogue won't be out till September. But obviously in August for demonstrators. So... If, you know, you're eager to get your Christmas crafting on sooner, um, join my team. It's as simple as that. And then you get to see everything early. And the best bit about the mini catalogues for demonstrators is we can order everything in the catalogue. So it doesn't matter what it is. We can always order everything. Whereas when we get to a new book, we can only pick a selected amount of stuff um, to pre-order. Um, so Margaret is saying over in the Lake District, the weather was actually good, cloudy, but they didn't get wet once. That is awesome. Um, Dino, yeah, I do make my own beetroot hummus. Um, basically, if you've ever made hummus before, it's um, chickpeas, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, mainly, um, blitzed. Um, but the addition is roasted beetroot. So I um, peeled the beetroot or with rubber gloves on. Because <laughs> if you've ever peeled beetroot before and you haven't got rubber gloves on, you end up with purple hands for days. Um, so raw beetroot, I peel it, chop it into chunks, 
um, put olive oil on it and um, cumin seeds and salt and pepper and the garlic, but I just leave the garlic in cloves. I parcel it up into a, into a foil parcel and roast it till it's tender and then I blitz it and mix the two together. It's amazing. It's just incredible. Um, Donna in Oz has been lucky with all of her orders, no major holdups. I think as well, it depends what day <laughs> you order because there have been some really busy days. So that's good. Awesome. So I've got a few things to show you um, that have arrived here in the last a week or so. Um, although these two cards, <laughs> the two cards I've got here, um, arrived weeks ago and they've been in my diary and every Tuesday I keep thinking I must take those upstairs and and for one reason or another they haven't arrived I haven't got the their selves upstairs so when I found them at the weekend I came and put them on my desk <laughs> so I knew they'd be here um so this one is from the lovely Margaret who's actually here today and it's it's a lovely thank you card about craft and chat and craft alongs and it just makes my heart happy i'm just so pleased that you join me and take time out of your day to come and hang out with me and everyone else obviously um and we can craft together and then <laughs> this card ta da this was from my husband. That's his, his stamping. But the funny story about this is I had cleared all my stamps out for my um, bog off sale. So what I do basically is in my craft room, I take off everything that's retired. So all the papers, the ribbons, the embellishments, the stamps, everything goes and I price it and put it away in the boxes ready for the bug off sale and Brian wanted to make me a card and he had to go through every single stamp set in the bug off boxes <laughs> to try and find some cute little critters to make me a card it did make me giggle um yeah he was he was not impressed that he couldn't just go to my stamp shelf and find what he needed. <laughs> Bless him. Um, Lorraine's asking if I've ever had yellow or golden beetroot. I have. So over the years, um, we've planted and grown all colours of beetroot. Um, I per I don't know. I just personally prefer the the purple deep colored beetroot um and and I think it's probably it's a nostalgia thing isn't it that's what I grew up eating I guess um and it does make me smile that it makes the the hummus go purple but I always roast my beetroot so um a lot of people I know boil it um some people sometimes I roast it in its skin but generally, I peel it and then roast it in foil with whatever kind of flavorings that um, that I'm going to use in the in the finished dish. But I just use it as a side vegetable as well. So, um, yeah, hot beetroot. I know lots of people eat it with vinegar. My husband eats it with salad cream. Can you tell what I think of salad cream? It's nasty. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that's actually going to start a major debate now. Salad cream or mayonnaise? <laughs> um, yeah, I just no, I just don't like salad cream at all. Um, so we do have salad cream in the house, obviously, because Brian likes it and he, he puts it on beach. It's just bleh, no, nasty. Um, so those are the cards, and then. A very, very naughty friend and customer called Barbara um, 
who messaged me needing some cardstock um and I was able to help her out and you know I, I say this often it bears repeating if ever you are in a bit of a jam because you've got a project that you're making or you need something urgently, always get in touch with me. Or if you've seen a stamp set that might be retired, let me know and see if I can help. I have a huge range of team members and friends within the crafting world. And usually we can help out in some way. Um, so do ask. Um, let me put my email address up. Most of you know it anyway. Um, but amandrainspiringinking.com. And the same goes for if you've got any um, questions about techniques or products, things you want me to chat about at Craft and Chat, let me know. So let's go back. Lorraine loves both. Margaret loves beetroot, but must try roasting it. It just gives it a really nice flavor, but it does take quite a long time. Obviously, it depends how big the beetroots are. Um, but that's why now I tend to peel it and chop it. So it's like even chunks. Doesn't take that long to, to roast. Ooh, Janet saying, thick Greek yogurt, or one of my favorite things ever, Garlic and chopped cooked beetroot makes beetroot tzatziki. Delicious. Makes a really nice dip, that will do. And uh, Janet Kay is actually saying mayonnaise, definitely. Yeah, see. Anyway, back to Barbara. She sent me a thank you. Look. Look at this. It's a little pincushion. That's, it's all hand stitched and then she's made these little bumpy bits and a button on the bottom. And a little needle case. And actually, I was looking at this and thinking, we could make a little album like this. And it's got these little flap bits here and a press stud and a lovely little wallet pocket and it's got all these pockets in here so spoilt came in a beautiful bag as well um very spoilt so very thankful thank you barbara and i did tell her she was very naughty but um, yeah, they're lovely. So I'm feeling a very lucky girl today. Right. Peggy's just arrived. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> and I'm looking at where she's from and I'm going, Arkansas, oh, Arkansas, oh, no, Arkansas. <laughs> and Peggy will laugh because I say it wrong every time. Oh my word. So Peggy's granddaughter graduated from college on Saturday. So for us here in the UK, that's university. And we celebrated her on Sunday afternoon. That's wonderful. Uh, a university graduation is, is definitely something to be celebrated. Donna saying, yes, they are lovely gifts. They are. So what I thought I would do today is do some crafting with a brand new kit. It's so brand new that I've not even opened it. So <laughs> let's hope everything that should be in the box is in the box. <laughs> um, but I wanted to craft with a kit just to show you how easy it is to craft on the go. So we're kind of getting into the spring, summer. People are often traveling or visiting family and going on holiday. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I 
just want an hour to myself. And if you've got a kit that you can tuck yourself away at a table and just do a little bit of crafting, you will get a bit of downtime. And I always struggle when I go away to actually have all the stuff that I need, unless I'm going to a friend's house who's also a crafter, <laughs> in which case then that's different. But, you know, if you're going, you know, if you're staying in a caravan or you're going to an Airbnb or a hotel, it doesn't matter where you're going, but to have something creative that you can do is really, really lovely. So what I thought I would do is show you which kits are available um, in Europe at the moment, because um, there's loads. And then this kit that I've got is the confetti kit, which is brand new. And I believe it's shaker cards. Like I said, I haven't even opened the box yet. So we'll open the box together. And um, I think it's nine cards that it makes three different designs so we'll just make one of each of those designs um but first um i'm going to show you the pictures that donna shared with me of the snow in australia now <laughs> i appreciate it is a british obsession we are obsessed with the weather and it's only because we have so much weather here in the uk <laughs> we really do but we love the weather we love talking about the weather um it's it's such a neutral topic of conversation and there's always something something to talk about so um don said um last week that it had been snowing again so i'm going to show you she sent me a couple of pictures so let me see if i can add that yay so look so this is about half an hour from donna's house and it it blows my mind really because i just don't i don't know about you but i just don't think of australia actually having snow um just because it you know all of the pictures everything that it depicts is sunshine um so yeah so please do share with me pictures <laughs> of your weather of your gardens of your crafting um you can send them to me to the uh email them to me um now i've figured out how to add them to a slideshow so that you can see this um it's very cool so, you know, show me, send me pictures of what you're working on. Um, so Liz is here and the typing is in Spanish. Liz, I will have to Google translate that. Um, but thank you for joining us. <laughs> So um, you're very welcome to come and hang out with us. Um, Janet takes cross stitch mini card kits for on the go from magazines. Cross stitching was my very first kind of crafting love, really. So that's a really cool thing because that's nice and compact. And Lorraine's bought two of the wreath kits to do with her 13 and 10 year old granddaughters when we're away on... Ah... When you're away on holiday in the summer. Um, so Deborah's translated for me. She's asking if you have a translate button for Spanish. Liz, you're in Facebook. So it should automatically translate. So if you switch your sound off, it should automatically caption it. Certainly it should do that in YouTube. So hopefully, hopefully that answers the question. So there's there's Donna's um, snow. So here we go. So here are the first six kits. 
So the confetti one, top left, is the one I'm going to show you. That's £22. We've got Forever Friends uh, Kaleidoscope. We've got a Wreath of Blooms kit, um, a Thanks kit, some treat boxes. And then we've got the Timeless Greetings, um, which is a, a man's card kit, which is a really lovely. There's a Christmas gifting tags kit. There's a memory notebook kit. Cozy and bright, so they're Christmas cards. Um, a million thanks. And, oh, I don't know what that is. I can't see it. My, my screen has got something covering, <laughs> covering the thing. Um, then we've got the kindness kits. You've got Robot Buddies, which is such a cool kit. Seriously. Um, and really cool stamps. There's the Magnet Board kit, which I know lots of people bought at Christmas um, as Christmas gifts. So, and then we've got some more Christmas cards and Christmas tags. So there are lots and lots of different kits. So think about perhaps taking one of those with you. Um, right, so I am going to switch my camera around so we can get this. Um, do, do, do. We can get this kit opened and starting again. Oh, Donna does hard anger. Um, that's um, a, a type of embroidery. And sweet nail needle cases. I don't, I don't know what they are. And my doorbell's just gone, which is the UPS man. I will be back. One minute. That was the smallest delivery ever. It's a tiny little box. <laughs> I was expecting a big box, so maybe tomorrow. Right. So, obviously the kits come wrapped in cello. But this, oh, there's my ruler. It is two inches by 10 by about six and a half so it won't take up that much room in your suitcase Ta -da -da. okay so we have an ink spot blueberry bushel so this is a kit with stamps and everything that you need so here is the stamps. So you've got a candle, a let's party, a happy birthday, and an oh happy day. Now we all know what Amanda thinks about happy birthday stamps. There cannot be too many happy birthday stamps in the world. Um, so that is very cool and it's a nice size as well. And then we've got the kit so um on this side you've got the instructions and you've got a piece of board in there it's got confetti in it i'm excited all right so let me just get the instructions first so the instructions have really clear pictures. So there are three um, different designs and you make three of each. And then 
They are basically pictorial designs and it explains that the way you go through things. So the first thing is your stamp, then you put the confetti pieces in, then you put tape down, then you add that on. So that's card number one, card number two, card number three. It's also got a QR code. So for those of you that have never had a QR code before, you use your mobile phone and you scan it and it will take you to um, a website link um, with a video. It lists out all the different coordinating stamping up colors. And what have we got here? Oh, it's just showing you which bits are for which card there. So I will be referring to this because obviously I've not made it yet. Um, so the ink pad, these are our ink spots and they're like an inch. And they've got a paper label that goes all the way over. What I do is I use my snips to just slice along the paper label. I need to do it on the table, really. So it just opens it up and I do it on both sides. Ooh. Let's try that again. I do it on both sides. What I will do is write blueberry bushel on the bottom in case I've got lots of these out on the table and I forget which one is which. Now, these ink pad, ink spots are felt. So they're quite tough little ink spots. And um, I don't think, I don't think we have coloured ink spots in the new catalogue. But we do have refillable ink spots. Oh no, I'm fibbing. We do. We do have some ink spots. So we have a set of eight that have Basic Grey, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Real Red and Shaded Spruce. So you've got a really nice mix of colours there. And they're all this size. But equally, you can buy um, a pack of five uninked spots. So if you've got a colour that you're not entirely sure you want a big full ink pad for, or you've only got a little bit of space, you can buy the ink spots and a reinker and make your own. So there we go. So stamps, ink spot. So what have we got here? We have got lots of stuff. So pretty much worth the price of admission for your kit. <laughs> um, so you've got a reusable block. So these these are the skinny blocks. So uh, standard blocks have finger grips on them. These don't. These are smooth sided, um, but they are perfect for for these stamps. So don't forget when you've finished making all of this, you've still got the stamps and the block and the ink pad left over. So we've also got some double-sided tape and some sequiny things. It's very cool. And then we have got bits of card. So these are obviously mats and layers. You've got envelopes that are pre-printed. So there's nine to go with the nine cards. Let's just figure that out. Yeah, so there's nine to go with the nine different cards. You've also got uh, some dimensionals. And then these, are which are little cello bags to put your sequins in. So that's really cool. And then you've got your card blanks. 
So we've got, and again, these are pre-printed. So you've got three of that style. You've got three of the um, present. You'll see that in a minute. And three of the birthday cake. Then you've got additional layers, pop-out layers, and bits for stamping. Now, my Amanda's top tip of the day is do your stamping first. So although I am only making three cards, one of each, I'm going to do the stamping on these sentiments first because you want to do it um, before you pop them out because it's just it's it's easier. So I'm going to pop that onto my stamping cut and emboss uh, my stamping mat um, because this is a photopolymer set. So I am going to use the happy birthday. And if you see here, you've got, oh, happy day, happy birthday, and let's party. Now, I, because I love happy birthday, I'm going to put happy birthday on all of them, <laughs> on all of the long sentiments. So let's just start there. Ooh. And stamping up actually give you extra ones. So you actually only need three. But, you know, even the best of us mess up. So it's always a good plan to have extras. And can you see how I'm tapping onto the stamp it's because it's a felt ink pad normally with the stamping up ink pad that's foam i would take the stamp to the ink pad if it uh, and again if it's a big big ink pad but because firstly this is small and because it's felt i'm taking the ink pad to the stamp so there we go so there's those now let's see if the happy birthday will fit <laughs> i think it probably will just yeah there we go One more, and then we'll switch out that, clean that off. Do the let's party. So these would work great as invitations as well, wouldn't they? Two more. Whoa. I've got ink all over my table now. Yep. last one so we will have on one of the cards to stamp some candles but we will do that when we get to that bit of the card so that's all the sentiments done so what i'm going to do is get everything i need for the first card 
and then just make like i said one card at a time so the first thing we need is a let's party sentiment then we're going to need some of the shaker elements this card now i'm guessing yeah it's this envelope and foam pads and the green layer and then one of these okay so let's just follow it through so we've we've stamped this first bit we've then got a green layer that we are going to put inside this cello bag like so and that's going to be stuck to the front of the card so we're then going to put in some of the shaker elements now i can see these aren't mixed mixed up hugely so i am going to give them a really a really good mix up i think that the blue stars are quite light so they've kind of all ended up in the bottom now because you've got you've got to make sure you've got enough for the nine bags now you can either measure it out or get like a little measuring spoon that would work or just put a few in and see now my i can see look look at all the stars can you see they've all stayed so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold this bag and just try and squish those a few of those stars out yeah there we go now the the trick with the shaker card is you want enough for it to actually sound and shake, but not too many that it's really heavy. So, you know, you will you will figure it out as you go. Let me get these last few stars that have escaped. And look, sequined. <laughs> Another star okay so once you've got those in there you've got tape here tape on the back pull that off and flip that down oh and then we've got the double-sided tape and you're going to put double-sided tape at the top and the bottom so that's to make sure it's nice and secure on the card front so give it a good press down and then we're going to stick it onto the front of the card there we go um julie's just joined us um she's gonna watch us on the replay she's volunteering at the big birding festival in northwest ohio what is the big birding festival julie <laughs> hopefully you haven't popped in and gone again let us let us know is it bird watching is it bird showing is it i don't know what's a big birding festival that sounds really interesting 
Right, so there we go. Let's put dimensionals on the sentiments. So if you've never made shaker cards before, this is a great way of getting started. And if you have, how cool is this that everything is here that you need? There we go. So that is so cool. So that's the first card. That's its, its matching envelope. And that's so cool as well, isn't it? I mean, if that dropped through your letterbox, you'd be so excited to open it. It's very cool. Card number one. We've got another escapee sequin here. We'll put those into the next card. Okay, Kerry's just ordered this kit at the weekend. Looking forward to using it. Awesome. Okay, so card number two, we need a happy birthday. It's one of the green envelopes, I think. Oh, no, maybe it isn't, actually. No, it's this one. So I think, ooh, tricky. I don't know. I'm going to give it that one. Who knows which one should go with it? So we've got this card. We've got a cross, which we're going to be putting tape on in a minute. Now, as I'm going, I'm putting the stuff that I'm then not going to be using back in here. So, for instance, I'm using that white card there. So, the other two pieces of white card and the green card from this one, I'm putting back in the box. It just means then that you're just not going to get yourself muddled up. So the same with the envelopes and the card blanks that we're not using. So it, it just means that you're keeping yourself tidy, particularly if you're crafting when, when you're on holiday, because realistically, you won't have as much space as you are used to. OK, so the first thing is... Do your happy birthday. We've done that. The next thing is to put tape on the cross and dimensional pads on here. So that's easy. Dimensional pads there. And then tape along here. Okay, so we've got those. So this is the insert to go into the little cello bag. Exactly the same as last time. We are going to put in some of these shaker elements. Oop. And peel it off, peel off the glue strip at the back and fold it over. So making sure that the um, glue strip is at the back because then it's going to get um, covered over with the tape. Ah, 
So this is why you have to pay attention <laughs> to the instructions and not think you know what you're doing. Right, hang on. <laughs> All right, okay. So pay attention to the instructions. It says to put the tape on the front of the card. Of the shape of it. Okay. So this card has already got little squares that I cut out of it to make the present. Obviously, we're not going to throw these away. You can use these on another project. Um, but then you are going to stick down your cross that you've put tape on already. It just serves me right, doesn't it, for thinking I know what I'm doing. Da, da, da. There we go. So there's our little cross. And then turn it over and we're going to stick this bit on the inside of the card. So it like peeks through like that. How cool is that? Fold the card down. Ta -da -da! Honestly, this is so cool. Here we go. Two cards made. That envelope looks really cool with that as well. All right, card number three. So... We've got another die cut piece. So we've got to pop that out. So that's the, the cake. But you've got the happy birthday. So that's this one. Oh, let go for that one, actually. It says, oh, happy day, but I'm going to put happy birthday on it. And we've got one, two, three, four, five candles to be stamped on there. So let's do that again. I'm using the stamp and pierce mat because this is a photopolymer stamp. And I, it, I get lots and lots of questions about uh, products that I use and why I use them. And photopolymer stamps are amazing. Um, because you can get really, really detailed images and you can see where you're going with it. So it really helps um, for placement and all sorts of things. But the downside is there is no foam underneath them. Now, on a, on a red rubber stamp, the stamps um, that we started out stamping with when the dinosaurs were alive, um, they had foam in them. And it meant that you got a really crisp image. And sometimes you don't get quite the same crispness with the photopolymer stamp if you don't stamp on a piece of foam. So um, you can use things like a mouse mat. That will work. Um, or even, you know, a push, a magazine or something like that. But it's well worth investing in one of these mats. And look, it will even fit inside your box. Your bone folder would fit inside your box. A pair of scissors would as well if you, you know, want to do that kind of, of, of thing. <laughs> and then you've got everything that you need. Right. So let me get my little stamp and my ink pad. 
So with this, I'm going to stamp one in the middle. And then one there. One there. And you've got printing on this card, so don't worry if um your candles aren't perfectly printed um it is printing over the top of printed paper or stamping over the top of printed paper there we go so you've got your five candles let's get that covered over and out of the way okay so i've done that um i've done the stamping so i've got my little cello i've got my pink layer and some of the shaky bits And then we're going to seal that up. And then it shows you that it's going in landscape format. So shaking all the shaky bits down to the bottom. And you're going to put tape again on the front. <laughs> oh, Ali. Ali says that she's so engrossed in watching me. <laughs> she's she's forgotten she should be making her husband an anniversary card. <laughs> Quick. Quick, anniversaries are important. Lorraine said she really enjoyed doing the sentimental rose kit. It, um, 18 pounds. I think, yeah, I think it's 22 now. It is still available. Um, the Sentimental Rose Kit is really cool. Hang on a minute. Let me just add that back to the stream. Which page is it? It is. Do, 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 do. Oh, hang on. I'm sure it was here. Yes. Sent oh, it's still £18. Um, so this is really cool. It's got like a little box and it's got lovely flowers, um, and really cool stamps. So check that one out. Sentimental Rose Kit. Thank you, Lorraine, for reminding us of that. Honestly, if you want a kit that's like for, um, somebody just starting out, or you want to take a kit away with you that has everything, um, for th that you can do additional cards with sentimental rose kit is is good oh happy birthday ali it's ali's birthday today everyone chilling out is yeah you did you should be chilling out it's your birthday <laughs> so is it your birthday and your anniversary today or are you getting yourself ahead of your anniversary card because I'm usually making the card on the day. Oh, good. No, you. So you're ahead. Oh, Ali, it's only Tuesday. You've got days. <laughs> You've got days yet. Days and days. Honestly, I uh, I am so behind with with cards and birthday cards and things. It's it's the whole thing of. Um, the, you know, the, the cobbler and his kids go into school with holes in their shoes. Um, my family and friends tend to be the ones that never get a birthday card because I'm always running behind. Margaret says she's got that kit, but she's not used it yet. Yeah. Honestly, everybody check out that sentimental rose kit because it is really cool. Right. Okay. Where were we? So candles, shaker. Happy birthday. So this is going to go in there. Now, 
a top tip is obviously just where you put your glue you want to make sure that that is stuck down yeah you see here we go Amanda's going to be a rebel again I know what the instructions are telling you to do and I can't pick this off because it's there we go I know the instructions are telling you to put that bit there but but I need to show you what I think you should do instead. So put your tape here. Put your tape at the bottom so it's there, look. Leave the tape at the top, that's fine. But if you put it at the bottom here, there's no chance of you seeing the glue. And it means that you can get it right to that edge. Oh, this is just so cool. I love shaker cards. Right, let's get the happy birthday on. And again, <laughs> and again, it says to put them. Look, here's the picture. It says to put the dimensionals on there. I'm going to put the dimensionals on here. Because then you definitely... Or won't see them being such a rebel today let's put one more just there Ta -da! Da -da -da! three cards i don't know was anyone timing me three shaker cards no less Where's the other envelope? Uh, uh, oh, here it is. Yeah. So, actually, what I'll do is I'll put the cards without their envelopes first. One, two, three. Da, da, da. Oh, darn it. So, happy birthday, Ali. But she's got hospital tom uh, tomorrow and then chemo on Thursday. Darn it. Um, it's tough old, tough old time for you. But I hope things improve. Lots of, lots of happy birthday wishes for Ali. <laughs> awesome. And look, shake your cards. Yay! Look, it's just, I, I don't know, it's the sound, it's all the things, all the things, it is just awesome. So, the kit is called, the kit is called Confetti Birthday Kit. The other kit that we were all raving about is sentimental rose kit hang on let me just see if i can do a quick screenshot mm. hang on let me see sentimental rose <laughs> do, 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 do. okay right i'm gonna see if I can do a screen share. <gasps> share my screen. Let's see. Ah. Uh, can you see that? <gasps> Hooray. I think you can see that. Okay. So that is, hang on, let me just um stop that camera that's better um so let me just show you so this it makes um 
nine cards, I think. Yeah, nine cards, three of each design, plus an acetate gift box. So if I show you that picture, so right down here at the bottom, you've got an acetate gift box, but it's the stamps I want to show you. Look at that. Now, I appreciate for us in the UK, Happy Mother's Day has already gone. Um, but if you're anywhere else in the world, Mother's Day is coming up. Um, but look at that rose. How cool is that? And a really happy, happy birthday. So that kit is £18, I think. Yeah, £18. Okay, so let's just pop that back. There we go. So we are all done for today. Thank you so so much for joining us and uh, hanging out with me with this lovely kit. And I will see you all back here next week, Tuesday at two o'clock for the next Craft and Chat. Take care. Goodbye.